everyone welcome back to cyber security tv i know it's been a while uh, i was on a break and then also i hope you guys had a nice little break enjoyed christmas new year uh, with your friends family and you are uh, recharged for the new year and hopefully we'll learn some new tools techniques this year uh, on this channel so let's get started so where we left off is uh, last time uh, I taught you how to install pigeon and, and like you know especially to chat on the dark web now uh, the way we had set up is there was one flaw and I'm gonna show you what what the like you know flaw is and then we want to I want to teach you how do you make sure our communication is secure end-to-end -end, like between the sender and the receiver so no one else can intercept our communication uh, we are going to take a uh, make a use of one of the plugin which uh, offers by offered by the pigeon uh, but before that let's see how the how the really uh, like you know what's the existing workflow that we have so currently i think when you open this uh, uh, like you know chat window and when you say hello for example here and at the same time uh, i'm going to go on the other screen and say hello back right which you can see here so this is how uh, our chat room is currently set up now how it works is this is sender it sends the message now the message is encrypted with uh, with the key which is provided by the XMPP server which we have set up uh, that the communication the chat message would go over the TLS uh, so it is encrypted in transit now when it reaches onto the server which is here the server also has a key so it can actually decrypt this message and, and see what's going on now last time we had also seen there are like in you know, a bunch of servers you can choose from and if you if you select of course those are not like you know managed by uh, I guess some entity uh, but those are like all the open source servers so there is a possibility uh, if you if you don't choose like a plus great server uh, let's say if it's a weak server or if it's uh, does not have a good credibility it is possible someone could be eavesdropping on the messages on your messages so here uh, if the server when the message comes to the server server has the key it can decrypt it and then uh, it can see the message uh, or else it can forward it to set uh, to the receiver and then receiver has the key and receiver can see the message uh, how like you know that's how we just saw the messages so this is our standard like you know end-to-end -end workflow now the flaw here as you might have just figured out by now is when the message reaches the server and the server can actually read the message which we want to avoid and typically when you are setting up the pigeon uh, this is the screenshot I had taken like you know earlier before I actually install the plugin you can see uh, it is not private right here so it will tell you uh, this is the same uh, insert that we are messaging so before I actually made it secure I, I took this screenshot just to show show you guys so this is how it's gonna show it says not private and that means the the communication between sender and the receiver is not private someone else can also eavesdrop and that's what we want to like you know overcome or we want to avoid for that what we're gonna do is uh, we are actually going to take the help of off the record messaging so this one uh, this this particular plugin library whatever you call it is very helpful so let's read through uh, what is it about so off the record messaging allows you to have private conversation over instance messaging by providing encryption right so it provides the additional encryption we are going to show you in the workflow how it does you are assured the correspondent is who you think it is so of course when there is encryption it also provides the authentication by only having the key to the person who is actually uh, authorized deniability the message you send do not have digital signatures that are checkable by a third party anyone can forward messages after conversation to make them look like they came from you however during conversation your correspondent assured the message he sees are authentic and unmodified and perfect forward secrecy so if you lose control of your private key no previous conversation is compromised so these are the uh, and we we are mostly like you know worried about this one we want end-to-end -end encrypted so no one else can uh if stop to our message 
how do we install this uh, how do we install this particular plugin now just for the demonstration what I've done is I've installed it but I have changed my configuration so you can see currently it is considered as not private so what you need to do after you have installed this uh, plugin like you know depending on what your operating systems uh, operating system is you need to go uh, to the OTR and you can say start private conversation right when you do that it will say uh, you should authenticate this body uh, unverified so the unverified is something we are going to teach like you know learn in the next section how how what is this about but if you if you see this one uh, it is generating a private key for me and as well as for the other body that I'm chatting with which is of course my other system so uh, given that this is how it's gonna work but let's let's see how do we configure this one so for that let's open the pigeon app it takes a couple of minutes to boot go to the tools go to the plugins then go to the off the record then you say configure plugin make sure this one automatically initiate private messaging and don't log OTR conversation so just to maintain our privacy is always enabled and then just close it and that should be it right uh, this is how it's done now what's the workflow uh, what's a new workflow after we install it so this is how it's gonna work so here when we install the OTR it's going to generate a key so uh, the sender will have a key for example that we saw same way the other system will also receive a message that somebody is trying to uh, initiate a private conversation so it will generate a private key and the receiver will also have the key so now the message is going to be encrypted with that particular key of course it's going to be towards the TLS when it reaches to the server server does not have the key so even though like you know server has the initial encryption key it will not be able to decipher the message and read the message and when it reaches to the destination to the receiver it can easily decrypt the message and, and read the message so that's the like you know added benefit that we get uh, with the with the off the record now for the unverified uh, we are going to uh, learn about this one uh, but you can explore it uh, after you install the OTR and, and, and send me your feedback uh, how you like it uh, but do try this out uh, especially if you are joining like you know some of the chat rooms which are which we sh uh, seen earlier uh, which you do not trust uh, it's of it's and, and like you know also just be careful while choosing the server uh, like for example I have chosen 522.de which you can see it here but yeah uh, just uh, be careful on which server you are choosing because that 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 should should have a lot of credibility and I showed you how to read that report and and their like you know assurance on which servers to pick so that's it from this video uh, I hope you like it uh, and and welcome back to cyber TV uh, please hit the thumbs up button if you haven't already and I'll see you guys next week bye